Hey everyone and welcome back. So I actually wanted to do a pickups video and originally I was like, you know what? I don't really have much. I think of like two or three things here. But then I realized there was actually stuff I've gotten almost like a month ago that I forgot to include in I think the last two videos. And I was like, well, <laughs> actually I started grabbing some of the stuff and then I realized like I actually have more here than I thought I did. So first up, I do want to mention though, uh, my little Krennic figure here, which if you haven't seen that video, go check out my uh, Star Wars Day video. A couple interesting things about this figure. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing actually I got in actually a long time ago I think almost two months ago now and I completely forgot to include it in a video and that is actually I did get this special print of Back to the Future and it's a special print done in coordination with uh, Drew Struzan who was the artist on the original poster he did a ton of posters uh, for movies back then, uh, back then, he still does them today, but you know, it's like, he's done, so, if you look up all the movies he's done, like he's done posters for, you would be amazed. And I've always wanted a Back to the Future poster, uh, because I didn't go after one, uh, years ago when they were still more or less affordable, you know, you try and get one now, and man, I, do they go for a lot. So it's like, do I spend a ton, but then there was this special, uh, offer that they were doing these, again, these special screen print versions and obviously they're autographed by him which is very very cool and they said it like you know what it's pricey but it's still like a third of the price it would cost me if i try to get an original poster now and one day it would be nice to get an original back to the future poster but you know what this is super cool and i think it sort of scratches that itch you know that i have for one so very very happy to have some form of back to the future poster in my collection next up i got in another freddy shirt from gutter garbs i was sort of mentioned i think in previous video I sort of made the joke i was like god i don't have any freddy shirts and now all of a sudden within the span of like a month i have two well guess what now i have three and i also have another one on pre-order so that one should be coming in i think maybe in several weeks and i've not even opened it yet so let me just open it real quick this is a nightmare on elm street 2 freddy's revenge poster poster heavens t-shirt and as you can see here there's that looking very very cool and of course there's freddy from part two because they had such a unique look in part two he also had like the much darker eyes as opposed to robert england's like blue eyes a really really nice shirt and of course i got it a large which is still kind of big on me but you know i kind of like wearing like slightly loose t-shirts so yeah it's kind of funny i go all these years without any freddy shirts and <laughs> in the span of a couple months i will end up with four and i'm not complaining because boy have it has it been like overdue on some freddy shirts and then this i got from fright rags which i don't think i actually mentioned in a previous video if i did i'll just go through it real quick and i actually got another one of their pint glasses in and this is one for the thing and you know it's obviously it's color blue it's got the poster image on it so i'm going to show it to you just real quick and again it is glass I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah, trust me, it's glass. Really, really nice. I absolutely love uh, the glasses that they are putting out. And when I saw this one, obviously I had to grab it. Jeez, how many do I have? I have several of their pint glasses now. In fact, I use, I don't actually use them because I or don't use them that all. I actually used one for the first time uh, about a week ago, actually. I used... Uh, American Werewolf in London, the Slaughtered Lamb uh, glass a week ago because I was actually trying out some of the, was it Bud Light Next or something? It's their carb, it's their no carb beer, which honestly, it tastes like no carb beer. It's like, eh, it's okay, but it did give me a slight buzz. So actually, you know, for, so it did work in that regard. Next up, I do have two movies. One of them I thought I included in a previous video, but I didn't. And first up is uh the new 4k release of heavy metal this is uh obviously this i think it's actually only a steel book at this version in fact let me just take off this outer portion and get a better look at the steel book and there's the front with the uh original poster artwork which i absolutely love look how vivid that is and there's the side with the title and then finally there's the back with of course the the, the happy spaceship oh and actually inside there's a little image of dar in there okay and real quick here's the inside so here is uh the 4k disc of heavy metal the blu-ray disc and it also comes with a copy of Heavy Metal 2000 uh, on Blu-ray only. And I did watch this, I think, about a week ago, and it looks fantastic. I mean, this is, you know, there's only so much you can do. Really, with animation, it's more how clean can you make the image without scrubbing away, like, grain, especially for him, like... This that was actually shot on film, you know, for older animation films, and but also keep that vivid color that you're going to get from the animation. And of course, this is a prime example of just how amazing an animated film can look in 4K. And then next up is the new Arrow release of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. It's obviously a UK release, Arrow UK. Uh, there is no 
U.S. released at the moment, but I think because I think in the states, uh, Dark Sky I think owns the rights to Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, so hopefully they'll put out their own 4K release at some point. But just real quick, here's the look of the outer box. There's the front, and there's the side with the title, and there's the back with not much on it. So all right, I'm just kind of show you the inside real quick. So first off, it does come with a poster. And what's cool about this, so it has their new artwork poster here, which is nice. And it has this alternate artwork poster. Now the interesting thing about this artwork is that this was actually done at the time when they made the film, but it, obviously they couldn't really use it on the poster because like, I don't think they could get it accepted to be sh put up in movie theaters at the time if I remember the story correctly. So I'm glad that they actually did include that artwork because it is just nuts. And it comes with two booklets. So first one is obviously one of Arrow's just amazing booklets that has, you know, all kinds of stories and pictures, behind the scenes pictures and all kinds of, you know, stuff on the film. The great, the late, great Tom Tolls. And it also comes with this, which is very cool. It's a book that has a bunch of the storyboards on it. Here, actually, I'll just show you a couple real quick. You can see right there, there's the dude getting hit with the TV and then the uh, stuff with the camera. This is, this is actually a nice addition. Again, both very thick books. You know, Arrow always does such a nice job with these things. And then obviously the release itself, and I did flip a cover uh, to the alternate, which of course has that cool artwork right there. The other side just has their new artwork, which is fine, but it's on the outer box. So I figured I'd flip this one. And there's the side with the title. And finally the back with just the info. And of course it has the UK rating uh, down in the corner. And it does come with uh, these very cool, um, I don't know, lobby card or picture recreations. So I'll go through them real quick. There's one, which actually, I don't even think that's a scene in the movie. And there's two. And there's three. Right there. And there's another one. Great moment there. And there's that one. And we're back to the front. Okay. And then the back has uh, just their new artwork on the back. And then finally, it does obviously hear the disc. So it's got ooh, uh, the 4K uh, disc as well as the included Blu-ray. And the included Blu-ray is region B locked. I did actually check. Now, the thing about this release, obviously, is that there is gonna be a replacement program because there is an error. Uh, one error in the 4K edit, which I believe is on both versions, uh, but the included Blu-ray, same mistake that was done, I think, with the Blu-ray for Citizen Kane that uh, Criterion put out, where for some reason, the version that did not have the proper uh, color correction applied to it is actually on the disc. So it's actually, it's a very flat, looking picture profile doesn't have all the color that's supposed to have you know the color the contrast and everything so as far as the 4k disc goes it looks fantastic but it has an, a slight edit error on it and the scene early on for those of you who know the film scene early on in the film where Henry and Becky are talking in the kitchen it just all of a sudden randomly cuts to a shot from earlier in the film for no reason whatsoever. It just randomly cuts to that shot. No one knows why, because it's not because it's not in the actual original version. I even went back and checked uh, the dark, the previous Dark Sky version. And yeah, it's not there. I mean, it's like I don't remember that shot ever being that. It's not supposed to be there. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, so there is going to be a replacement program in the works. I think there are just no further details at the moment. Now I'll have more updates on that once those are released. But um, despite the error, I will say that the transfer overall is actually really, really nice. Now, there's only so much you can do. This is a 16 millimeter film that was made in 1986. Yeah, it didn't get released until like 1989, 90, but it was actually filmed in 1986. Very low budget, shot in 16 millimeters. There's only so much you can do. But what you're getting is a nice, full, solid presentation of the film. Like it's basically going to look as good as it could possibly look. And the audience Audio is really good. Uh, the only fault with the audio, which is not anything Arrow did, it's just uh, it goes down to the original mix. You know, there's moments where the dialogue is just not as loud as it should be, but that's from the original mix. That's something that's always been there. So just a quick uh, two cents on this release. And obviously, for those of you interested, um, you know, I will have information on the replacement. And hopefully, uh, here in the U.S., we'll get a release as well. Again, I assume by uh, Dark Sky. And then finally, the one thing, actually, I did just get in. I'm so happy I did is another art piece from homemade horror as i was mentioned mention i've gotten some of their stuff before and they made a couple uh, they remade a couple of older pieces that went up for sale uh very briefly they were gone like really fast and one of the ones that he made like years ago in fact i think this is a piece that i first discovered him because i know uh 
couple of people who actually got this, and obviously it's from the stuff, which I'm gonna open. I haven't even opened it yet, so hopefully it arrived okay. But this went up, so I was so happy I was able to get it, because this was the first piece I ever saw of his. I was like, that's really cool. I'm gonna kind of follow him and see what else he does. And as you can tell, so just real quick, uh, this comes in three pieces. So here's actually one piece right there, because they'll do just screaming right there. And this basically mimics the like the video uh, poster, which is actually my favorite poster for the stuff, the great Larry Cohen film. And this is the other piece right here, the other screaming guy. And then finally, this great uh, recreation of uh, the stuff container, which looks so good. I mean, here again, there's the top. I mean, it just looks so good. It's just such a nice, it's got a good weight to it. So let's see if I can set this up without incident because it is three pieces and you know i'm sort of balancing this on my hands let me be a little careful here so basically it goes together like this you put the three pieces together and you can just see it's sort of right there it'll look better on the shelf you know once it's all set up but as you can tell it does uh, mimic the look of again the, the video poster which i absolutely love so i do want to give a special shout out again to homemade horror as i mentioned them before just a really really big fan of his work and again a lot of his stuff is very affordable that's kind of what i like and it's just perfect because it's like it's not too big it fits perfectly on a shelf and it looks amazing you know again his work is just incredible so i'm just a huge fan of his so definitely i was happy really happy to get it because it's sold out within like five minutes or something so i'm glad i got it when i did because oh man i would have regretted missing it and he is going to have more stuff so i definitely recommend him again he's it's homemade horror you can find him on um facebook and on instagram so that's it for this pickups video just a couple things again a couple things i've had for a while that i uh have been meaning to get to and finally i was able to which i'm glad i did so definitely let me know if you've picked up anything recently and as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one